Sagittarius, welcome. Messages for April 13th through April 20th, 2024. I don't DM and I don't solicit. And I use Etsy to book readings and you get a reading with me as low as $10. Messages from spirit, Holy Spirit, spirit guides, the universe, God, however you resonate with that. These are messages for the week. What do you need to know or hear? Let's get into it. All right, so we have sphere of light. I feel like you need to really white light yourself. You need to bubble yourself up in like a ball of light every single day because I feel like people are sucking on you, needing on you, bothering you, calling you. I feel like you have a million things going on all the time and you're running around in every like direction and it's such scattered energy that you need to really find your center. Where is your peaceful place? Where do you feel at most peace? And if that's a real place, you need to go there and ground there and take it all in if it's in nature. I feel like you need to be by the water. It really does something for you. It clears you. It cleanses you. Specifically, like the ocean would be best. But if it's by a stream, by a river, by a lake, by a pond, it doesn't matter. I feel like that's very good for you. Also swimming, if you could do that. Um, but yeah, I feel like you need to white light yourself. I feel like you have a lot of energy vampires around you. A lot of people with ego. A lot of people that you know, just suck off of you and take from you and don't replenish you and bother you with nonsense and distract you with stupid shit when you're trying to concentrate and get your things in order and be responsible. Because I feel like you are healing. There's something about you that's healing, whether you want to work with kids or you do well with kids or it's your own children that you're doing healing things with. It could be your healing family, like, generational shit it could be like you're he healing like relationships like personal relationships romantic relationships friendships you're figuring out who's good for you and who's not and get rid of them and close the door and it's perfectly fine and acceptable and okay and what you're supposed to do i also feel like animals are so good for you whether you have a cat or a dog or it's animals in nature or you want to volunteer with animals something about animals and definitely being able to connect with them. They see and sense that you're very empathic. I do feel like you're an empath or you're a healer of some kind. You should be doing anything with healing, whether this is Reiki or medicine or the medical field or holistic medicine or something with healing kids or healing um, people. Or I just feel like you have this gift. It could be healing animals. It's just like you have this gift. You're definitely meant to use it. And if you're on that path, that's the path for you. And I do feel like you're working on triggers. You're going to be figuring out what triggers are what and what they belong to and tracing them. I also feel like you might be seeking holistic healing or some type of healing, mental healing or mental health healing, but more holistic or physical healing, but like more holistic. And this is also like uh, the people around you that trigger you, okay? So you're going to be figuring that out or you might be in situations where you see and you never saw before about certain people so we have don't judge another so I feel like there could be times where you're like I can't believe that person did that or I can't believe they could be so stupid or I can't believe they would treat me that way or I can't believe they're doing that with their life or I can't believe that that's bad or that's whatever but I feel like it's like everybody has to do their own thing they have to make their own bad choices they have to go through their own hell if you will and you know it's our experiences that connect us. So sometimes you might feel like somebody's doing something stupid or arrogant or dumb or you can't understand it, but you may have done something similar and you can't even like, you know, compare the two or bridge the gap and see. I feel like everyone, you know, has chosen a life circumstance and we're all having like a human experience. We're spiritual beings here. So I feel like, you know, just to judge is more like ego based and your guides want you to kind of keep a watchful eye on your ego. And that's actually the next card. Yeah. So try to like see the blessings, try to see like things like when it's negative, it's negative, let it go. When it's positive, go towards positive. But yeah, I feel like your ego might be shedding you might be realizing that things that you cared about or liked or were concerned with don't even fulfill you and you don't even care about them anymore love and light sagittarius